So finally, I finished creating my program for hotel management under booking and for managing the room. So let's have a look at it. Not new. I have to open the file. So hotel management Saraswati 12A. Enter. There you go. This is our program. So first I want to uh, show you the how it really works if I move on to showing the coding. I've also given uh, these things as called commands so we know exactly how, what all the function works for before we move on to the main uh, function definition. <laughs> Feels so like programmer and coder. <laughs> nice. So this is the whole program. It's quite long but it's very simple actually. The logic is very simple. Let's move on to seeing how it really works. So runtime and the interesting part I have changed the background color as well as the text color. So there you go. This is our background color. So we can count one, two. One, two. One, two. So basically I learned how to put timers. So uh, this I made the background white color as you can see and text is black color. We can change later if you want to. And interesting part is you can put timer for the each next line to come into. Instead of coming everything together, it is more nice if it comes after some time. So I made it two seconds gap. So it's coming up at each two seconds. So I've given the heading as hotel management project, our hotel and resort name. Project creator, that's three of us. Submit it to Nam's name and press any key. Let's continue. And I've given a very interesting thing here, as you can see. I've given it as five star and an our company can call hotel name. Dubai Marina is our location. I've given address and our telephone number. I've given them random to be more professional. And about us, it's very interesting to read about. So I've written that we are one of the newest hotel in Dubai Marina, overlooking the world's largest man made marina and waterfront development, renowned res restaurants and trendy late night launch destination and is allies at the heart of the new, new Dubai. Fantastic. And given six different features that you can see here, which our uh, hotel and resort do have compared to any other one. So, so, so what we provide. Like we have parking space, we have proper security check all the time, we have hot water and cold water, we also have free internet service throughout the your stay, we have 24 hours room service and we also have laundry service as well. So we welcome you and wish you a pleasant stay in a hotel and that's it. So I thought to give about us instead of simply starting out the coding or the program and it, I feel it looks very nice. And I tried to put image, but I don't think we can put image here. So I just put text and some borders, as you can see, to be very nice, attractive. Press any key, let's press enter. Yeah, and this is the main program which I made. So I'm just going to have these five options. Book a room, customer record, rooms allocated, edit record, and exit. Let's see each of them. Only one. So first, let's see first one. Book a room. So I've given very nice options here. Let me make it more clear. Yeah. So as you can see, I've given one, two, three, four, five options. First one is called single suit, single bed. Second is single suit, double bed. Third is uh, deluxe, means luxury type. Suit, single bed, deluxe, suit, double bed. And lastly, president is suit. So I've given base price. Means if you stay for one night, what all price you have, this along with the breakfast and, and all those things, which you might talk about later on. And then, if you decide I want to choose the last one, PS, then I can't simply press any room number, no. They have given, if you're choosing the first one, and these are the SSS, SSD, all these are the um, room code, okay? So, <clears throat> in that room code, in that section, you can only have room until 101 to 150, or PS you have from 001 to 010. So, you have a specific range of room, room numbers. So I've given 50, 50, 50, 50 for all of this. And because very, very VIP, I've given only 10, 10, 10 rooms available. And even the price are like, all the, are increasing by 50, but it's increasing by 100 dirhams per night. And that's it. So enter the room number you want. Let's say I want to have a um, third option, deluxe single bed. So I'm going to put 208, for example, OK? Enter the room code you want. So as you can see, 208 comes under this room code is DSS so D DSS okay DSS even the capital it is accepted but it's good for press uh, even small it is accepted but I press the capital it's doing the same thing moving on my name my name let's say my name is Sara the address I stay on course number of guests meaning along with me who all who all is gonna be 
Yes, I'm gonna have five people with me, all of my friends and everything. I'll give my uh, number as well, my mobile number, 055-4966-SM-398, uh, for example. Number of days you would like to stay, so note every extra day would charge 50. Meaning every extra day is will charge. So first day except other day it will, it will charge 50 plus, as I mean, I'm going to say. So let's say I'm going to stay for five days, simple. Now enter the check-in date. So I'm going to enter day, month, and year. Today 25th, 07th, 2019. And check out date would be, let's say, 30 after five days, 07th, and 2019, simple. Now, now they will say the room is booked, so press any key to continue. So okay, there we go, our room is perfectly booked. Let's go and check custom record. In custom record again, <clears throat> press the specific room number and check out if the uh, who stays with that room number and all the details about the customer. So let's press number two. The room number is two zero eight. So as you can see, customer details, everything about me, everything like even though I also mentioned total room fee, this is only for room, like for your staying time, for the food, for the entertainment, for other other kind of. Uh, what do you call services? We're gonna make a different one, which, which I guess Shamin was come will make. <laughs> Fine then. This is what I made, simple as that. So I've also given this, but I have a doubt. Why is this date coming here as well? I have to check it out one more time. What is the problem? What is the issue about it? So basically, this how it's gonna look like. Everything will be given when you press customer record and press specific or uh, room number. Now, so what is for third one? Now second one is for specific customer, specific room. You check everything in proper manner. Third one is for room allocated means you want to see in a brief manner which all room are vacant or which are vacant empty now, which all room are occupied and also who all are staying in it in a brief manner not about detail about their fee uh, and like about the uh, bill nothing that way only about the name and the phone number if they contact them for example so if it's option three. I just have one person for now. They have given it twice because only one person is there, but it will be one after some time. So I was given room number of the thing, the name, the <coughs> room code, and the phone number. Phone number. I have to change this out, I guess. That's it. Let's add some more. Find. Let me add this time 308 or 302. Where do I stay in at home? <laughs> Fine, then that is going to be uh, DST. Okay, lesson name is um, Susan. Address is um, Bird Dubai. Number of guests, let's say two are coming. Phone number, let's say 055, Fine, correct. Number of days, some stay for three days. Today's 25th. Let's make a different one. Let me make it as um, 30 07 2019 till so 31 so 20 08 2019. So room is booked. Press any key now as I go to number 2 and press 302. I'm going to get about the next customer who's taking that specific room. Now if I press number 3. I'm gonna get as you can see I have got only once because the thing because actually there's the thing here is that the last customer detail is given twice okay but after you add one more customer even this will be the same like how Sarah was like it just be once that is the exception here but anyway as you can see they have given uh, under room allocated basically because you can see in brief how many room numbers are being uh, you know allocated already who are the people staying there the names and the room code which are they're using, so you can talk about their billing also, and about the phone number if they want to contact them in, in case emergency case. Find number four is interesting. Edit the record if you want to modify the customer record and also delete the customer record. Let's modify the first one and modify 208, for example. So they say again, enter your new, new details. They won't say the, they won't show the new one. This let's say the name will be same, Sarah itself. What I wanted to change here was my address. I had made Alkus, I want to make now um, Dera. Phone number also, let's say I had the same phone number 66398. Yeah, and you can see record is modified. Fantastic. So as you go and enter here, now as you see the third option, 
you'll find that the Sara is uh, is the same. Let me show you from option number two. So the cruise rate, as you can see, her is changed. Address is changed. So basically, as you can see, um, you cannot you cannot change the other thing. You only change the address and those things are made perfect. And lastly, fourth one, you can also delete something. And I hope this works. I'm not ready yet. Let's check it out. I'm delete three zero two for example. See something deleted. Let's confirmation got done. Now let's see if the person exists or not. So our number two, three zero two. Sorry. Oh yes, it works. It's saying now. Sorry, the room number not found or not. Okay, what? Not vacant. Ha <laughs> ha. Not found. Yeah. Correct. 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 Meaning that room number along with this data has been deleted which means it works so that's the dozen whole program as you can see and let's we can put five to exit the program and that's about my program and this is coding for it the coding picture you can just see like this way so i've used all of these okay among this this one is new i feel so and it means i forgot what it means uh, i was clicking in my in my document what it means you can see what all I have over here. I give the initial value from the constructor and then all those functions are here. And this is my coding, the text is here. It's all simple. So basically, my uh, to keep in mind, my file name is hotel record. But edge is capital and R is capital as well. And my temporary file, everything is easy actually, everything you'll understand. If you just go through them. The last part I want to show that is uh, mm -hmm. if anything I should add, uh, anything I should do, so let's let me know. This is more than I can do for now because I have to study also now. And tomorrow is Shami's birthday. Mm -hmm. So basically, let's check it out. Huh, I want to show this one where it went the eyes here. I've used the temporary variable as temporary self. So these two things keep in mind. What I use as temporary and what I use as a uh, the file name as with this. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.